do not crash. The object of this game is to avoid the cars on the other side of the road, the other three yellow cars. You tap the screen to switch lanes to avoid the oncoming cars, and each time you get past the cars, you get another point. This game isn't the most difficult on this list, which is why I put it at the bottom. Number three, circle the dot. The object of this game is to keep the blue dot inside the grid by placing orange dots around it to protect it. And each time you tap on the grid, an orange dot appears. Now I haven't exactly caught the hang of this game because the most steps I've made before the blue dot escapes is six. I don't think that's too good of a score. But again, just like the other game with practice, I'm sure I would get better. This game has been a little aggravating for me in the past. It's not the most difficult. After a few tries, I wouldn't want to keep going on this game anyway, which is why I put it at number three. And again, this game is free with ads supporting it. Number two on the list is Make Them Fall. Now, it's kind of hard to explain this game, so you just have to kind of watch me play it. But basically, there are two stick men sliding on the walls, or possibly more depending on your level. But the, basically, you have two stick men sliding down either side of a blue or red wall, and the object is to avoid the spikes or triangles coming out of the wall. Now at first it's not too difficult but as you get to higher levels you can pick higher levels like Inferno and Impossible and there's other ones. There's Cardiac Mode which you just saw with the hearts. The object of that one is to collect the hearts and if you miss three hearts you, you'll have to start over. And I have sort of a high score on each one. Obviously the easiest would be Normal Mode and there's the one you just saw with the five men sliding down the wall yeah that one i think that is the impossible mode because like it's like it's title it's pretty much impossible to keep up with all five little stick men i think that game will require the most not really focus but speed your reflexes have to be a little bit quick my reflexes aren't that quick which is why i don't really succeed that game. Number one is Duet. Now this game I put it at number one because I think it requires the most focus and you have to be very kind of intentional with your movements. Now headphones are recommended when you play but the first time I played it I just used the speakers. This game has nice calming music in it and it's meant to kind of relax you. You, didn't, you can't hear in the video but there is a voiceover, a woman that comes on and says, reads the text on the screen at the beginning of each level. It says things like you need a circular state of mind or just hold left which is kind of advice for each level. And as you can see, this game is also supported by ads, and it's free. I hope you enjoyed my top four challenging games for Android. Let me know if you try any of these. And if you haven't, try them out and let me know what you think. Have a great day.